Panther, Panzerkampfwagen, Horse G. With steel road wheels and AA armour. This is a two in one kit. Vespid models. 172 scale and the item number is VS720009. New kit that's recently been released. So got myself one to make in a diorama. Let's see what you get. A couple of colour schemes here. You've got Unit Unknown Germany 1945, Panzer Regiment 26, the number 424, April 1945 in Italy. Box art on the side. Vespid models, scale, explains where it is. Same picture as on the front, just scaled down. And second thing here, it says the SS Regiment, Panzer Regiment, number 221, December 44, Belgium. In there, that one. And then you've got, it's showing you two 4 to uh, sprues, well, not sprues like that, but... Uh, Sets, one decal set, one metal barrel, and I believe that's a 3D printed muzzle brake. Same on over under brake, one far one. So let's get into this and see what you get in the box. The box is quite hefty for what for what you'd think for a little kit. I mean, the kit's only going to be about that big, so let's see what you get. First off, that's a nice colour picture on the front to show you. We'll do the instruction sheet first and showing you all the sprues, decal sheet, the main barrel, parts not for use, parts it's showing you a few. D to be honest, the amount of sp sprues and, and I can see in that box there must be a lot left that's not getting used. Turret, lower hull 1, upper hull 1, upper hull 2. Colours at the bottom. I'll just bring that a bit closer. There you can see we've got a Mr. Hobby, Hobby Colour, Umbral and Tamiya. And the colours in reflective as for the numbers for which you want. As you can see for the first of the instructions we've got obviously your wheels and your running gear all, all fitted. Looks pretty simple instructions showing you, showing you how two parts go together to make that. That part's going on, yeah, looks pretty simple that. Same again, showing you the road wheels on both sides. These I believe are the different options, you've got your steel wheel or the other I believe. I would have to look more into the kit before I said that for 100%. Your track assembly, your upper hull, your lower hull. Looks like the upper hull one might be the one that's for the... Uh, or upper hull two might be attached to looking, I'm not sure. One of them definitely gets the uh, anti-aircraft armour. And you've got, anyway, carry on. Doors, all the stuff getting fitted there. Side railings for the side skirts, all the different tiny arches. You'll be doing more for the side skirts. I don't even, I don't think it's got side skirts to be honest. You've got the turret build again, more small parts going on, but the turret as well. Exhaust system at rear again. Here it is, that's the uh, added armor that were fitted. To try to counteract the aircraft coming in and attacking them. And the last parts of that as it goes down there. Then you've got the absolutely beautiful detailed drawing for the camouflage for paint option one. And again on this side for paint option two, paint option three. And then on the back is some more 172 scale kits. Well, showing you the different ones we can get. Well, that, that's quite nice. That's that's a really nice set of instructions. I enjoyed that. Makes a change. 
a rather nice coloured one. I like the coloured instructions. Right then, first off, we've got the lower hull, and that's beautifully detailed there. We've got bottoms detailed as well, so you could have it tipped on its side if you wanted. There's enough detail there that you could make out with that. Same on the other side as that, if you want. And the upper hull of one of them. I believe there's going to be lots of photo etch parts going on these bits because if you gain two, two lots of them. Yeah, even got for for one seventy two scale. This is very nicely detailed. It's even got, and I don't know if you will be able to see, but I can even see the weld seams inside there that's good that. on the thing there you can see the flame cuts going down there you won't you won't have to improve this at all as in light adding i i don't think so so even that where when the turret's on obviously you you, you don't see it but it's even got all of the detail from the turret ring That's good that, that's that's a nice, nice one that. And the other, whoop. Uh -huh. I don't know what the difference is between them, I would have to look into it, but. And there's your second one. I'll compare them both there. I am not really seeing it myself, but hey. Doesn't mean to say there isn't. I'm not so sure that should be bent over. Can you can you just see that there? A little bit. It's actually broke. Can you just see there? That's broke, broke, bent over, broke. I think it's happened when it's been put in bag. To be honest, it's the two of them anyway. I don't know if it actually tells you on the inside anything. About the different one. No. No. Sit on that one. Um, no, nothing on the inside. Nothing I can see there, which would scream out to me. It's different to other, but as a, there's got to be something because I won't give you two. And here we have. One little baby turret. Come on. Money coming out to play. Here we go. Yeah. Tiny. Right. One little turret. It's got steel casting on that bit there, but it doesn't seem to. If they have done it, it's hard to see. But you've still got your weld seams. I can't see any steel casting. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's typical of me dropping it. Can't see any others. Yep. And we'll start now with the sprues. And we'll do the first one here, and that looks like it's the turret one. It's also got some bits on as well for it, but. As you can see, three different gun mantlets, I believe they're called. You've got an, yeah, towing cables there. That's not that's nice detail as well. See, there's a cast finish on that. I can see that. It looks well. I can't see any flash on them. That all on that. That's probably not used because you've got a supposedly a uh, an aluminium steel or whatever it is uh, barrel and some more that's got a nice bit of cast finish on it as well the detail of the tiny parts is excellent these grab handles they might be a bit in reality too big but we'll have to see the next one the tracks 
what they look like, they're Lincoln Lem. They're both the same, two sets, one each side, and they are Lincoln length, and they are nicely detailed. I can see all of where it's, it goes in. There's the hole that runs, runs through them. You can see that. And, yeah, obviously, I mean, you probably can't see it, but there's a curvature on some of it. I can see there. They've obviously included this as it's the parts where we're curving around the actual wheels. And talking of wheels, we've got part of the running gear here. Here we go. Yep. I believe they are two of the same. Yes, both H's. Both the same. I'll turn that one back over. You can see there's still a lot of detail on the other side as well. Oh, yeah. it's, it's good that. The, the old kit up to now has been very, very nice. There's a lot of sprues here. Some more to go yet. This one. And again, we've got two of the same. So they'll be for both, one for one side, one for the other. And we've got here, as you can see, the road wheels. That's road wheels set one. This is the A sprue, but I believe you're going to get another set for it, which is for if you want to use the steel or non-steel road wheels. Personally, I do like the steel ones, because it means you don't have to mess about trying to paint rubber on them. And that's the next set of road wheels. That's, this is a lot of plastic for a tiny little kit. A lot, a lot of plastic. There's going to be a right load of spares in my spare box when I'm done with this. <laughs> There's no fear on it. Right, again, two sprues. These ones are A. You can see lots of tiny. One's 34, 33, 35 there. And here you've got your arches for your doors. Some more of the uh, uh, wheel, whatever. You know what I mean. All of it that makes it up for that area. Running gear. More running gear. More where they connect on. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's... There's, a, there's no flash at all on it, on any of it, at a minute to what I've seen. Maybe when I get closer in detail, but at the moment I've not seen any flash whatsoever. It's all exceedingly good at the minute. Which, for what it costs, it's £20 this kit, and for 20 quid you're getting 20 quid's worth of plastic. No fear on it. As a kit wise, you're getting your money's worth, but the problem is you're only going to end up with one kit. I've got enough here. If they gave you another lower uh, lower hull section, you'd probably be able to make up a second. And oh, we've got a side skirts here, but the rear section, storage boxes, part of the exhaust. It looks like they're giving you a few different types. Uh, all three different types and I can see the cast welding on them tools machine gun mount cast weldings on that that's nice as well that's your machine gun there I can even see nice detail on that it's, it's, it is tiny there's no fear on it so it's hard for me to show it you and it'd be easy you've got a your jack there You've got a bit of quite a bit of detail that side, but I think there's even more on this side, which is the side that's probably showing the most. You've got your individual tools, your shovel, your starting handles, your axes. All in all, oh, there's your, you can even see there with the actual uh, wire cutters. 
So a good job I got some new snickers and all, because otherwise a lot of them parts would have probably got broke. Or broke, as they say, but I'm from Yorkshire, so it's broke. <laughs> right. It's not big pieces of photo etch. But here we go. Right. Photo etch. There is a like a protective film on it. So it might reflect like a bit more than what you'd normally want it to, but it is being protected. You can see the AA anti-aircraft covers, engine deck, grills. And on that one, that's more of the engine deck by the looks. And some hooks. Yeah, they're very fine, very nice detailed that. We have got in the tiniest bag in the world. Come on, there we come. One muzzle brake. I'll stop that before it rolls away. One muzzle brake there, which is hard to see. But and one aluminium turn barrel. I thought it were a bit of a distortion there, then, but I don't think there is. I think that was just my eyes catching it. Does it go on? Oh yes, it goes on level. One looks like really just there's like a tiny thing what you've just got to shave off. Other than that, that's a lovely muzzle brake because you can see straight down it. Uh, nearly straight down into. Carpet monster. That's where it was nearly. Yeah, that's going back in bag before it it, it disappears. And the barrel back in there. See them out. Right, we've got a couple of decals. You can see some markings. The top ones are harder to see. I don't know. They're hard for me to see. No matter about you. I bet you've got just 301, 221, 424, two German crosses and a 4 on its own and a 42. Oh, wherever they're going to go. Other than that, that's a, a lovely kit. A lovely kit for 20 quid. Lovely. It's, it's a shame that more companies don't put that bit more effort in, charge a bit more for the kits. For the uh, 172 scale vehicles, and you get all of this. I'm not saying it's all what everybody would want anyway, because most people don't want half a box of plastic that they're probably never going to use left over. But it's nice to have the options, so you can make the different ones. I mean, some of them they make them so it's one or none, but yeah. One. Yeah, really impressed with that. I'm looking forward to building it, but I'm a little bit wary because of how small the parts are. Uh, I haven't got the most nimble of fingers and hands anymore, but still looking forward to building it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it helps people who uh, watch this video and looking for it because it's a new kit out. And please subscribe. Please like my videos, it all helps my channel, and we'll see you later.